Hey guys, my name's Sarah and I'm the new exercise scientist at Zara Athletica. I'm in my fourth year studying clinical exercise physiology at QUT and I'll be graduating at the end of this year. Exercise science is all about understanding the human body and movement and helping to deliver exercise programs to optimise training. I moved into uh, clinical exercise physiology because I realised that I would be able to work with a wider range of people uh, and help different people manage chronic conditions and injuries um, and to help them manage their symptoms and improve their quality of life. The biggest difference between exercise science and exercise physiology is that exercise science, you're mainly working with healthy populations and clinical exercise physiology, you're working with people who have chronic diseases and conditions such as cardiovascular diseases, neuromuscular diseases uh, and musculoskeletal pain. I started studying exercise science because I've always had a passion for exercise from when I was young and all throughout high school. It was always the one thing that I looked forward to during my day and it had a big influence on the rest of my life and how I looked at every other aspect of my life. I started dancing when I was three years old and danced all the way through until when I finished high school, so it was about 15 years in total. I danced at a studio called Ama School of Dance. I competed in the competitions throughout Queensland and actually went to nationals one year when I was about 16 years old. I loved dancing because of the way it made me feel. I had so many friends that I used to dance with and I used to dance with my sister and my brother as well. So I always had some really amazing people around me and I was able to do what I love and share that with them. Uh, and I really looked forward to all of my competitions and dance concerts and getting to dress up and put on costumes and do my makeup. It was so much fun. Yeah, I did a little bit of swimming as well, um, a lot when I was in primary school and a little bit in high school. So I used to always compete for schools and train pretty much every morning. Training from when I was quite young has definitely influenced my life now. I think it's given me a lot of morals to be in a really good routine uh, and prioritise exercise and training because I know the benefits that it has for me physically and mentally. Training from a young age definitely taught me discipline and how to keep a routine um, and setting different goals to help me achieve different things throughout my life. Uh, it also influenced my relationships with other people and how I can communicate with other people. Once I finished dancing, uh, that's when I discovered the gym and strength training and I started strength training about four to five times a week and I've been doing that for the past two, three years. Um, when I was younger, about 14 years old, I was diagnosed with scoliosis. So at this time I was experiencing pain in my back and I was sort of looking for some sort of direction on where to go. And at that point, a lot of health professionals told me to completely stop dancing. And that's definitely not something that you want to hear when you're doing something that you love. Um, being told to stop it was quite difficult. I did end up quitting dancing and I soon realised that this had a negative effect on my injuries um, and that was when I found the gym and discovered strength training so I've been doing this for the past three years. Once I started strength training I found that within a, a couple of months pain was getting a lot better and my symptoms were starting to decrease and I was feeling a lot better. This is also one of the reasons why I'm so passionate about exercise science and exercise physiology. At the moment, my favourite lift is a deadlift, followed by a squat and then bench press. My current deadlift PB is 120 kilos, squat PB is 100 kilos and bench PB is 57.5 kilos. My training goals have mostly been um, based around improving strength. At the moment, it's mostly maintenance just because I've been so busy with uni and lots of studying. So. I'm trying to fit in around my training and just being able to train three to four times a week is one of my main goals. In the past couple of months, I've actually started Pilates training as well, which I've really been enjoying. This has changed my view of training that you don't have to be using a barbell or different weights um, to be improving your strength. And I've actually noticed that it's been helping all of my lifts and making everything feel a lot stronger and smoother. Since starting at ZAR, I've been doing Pilates training with Darko and I've found within my own training that it has been helping my own movement and the way all of my training feels 
and this is something that I would like to pass on to my own clients. I'm excited this year to start working with clients so that I can start to pass on the knowledge that I've learned over the past four years of studying and help everyone to improve their training and their lifestyle. I'm really excited to be working with all of the members and clients that we have in the ZAR community to help you all achieve your goals. My take home tip for you would be to find a form of exercise or training that you love and don't let anyone tell you to stop doing what you love. Thank you everyone for tuning in today. I'm so excited to see you all in the gym and if you'd like to have a chat to me, feel free to go and have a look at my Instagram, which is sarah.xb.